So I want to talk about Nova UI, which is a brand new and complete UI framework for the Unity game engine. Now, I did get my copy for free from the developers, but this is not a sponsored video. The only reason I'm making this video is because I've been using Nova in my personal project for the last several weeks, and I love it, and I think it's worth sharing. If you do want to support this channel and this non-sponsored video, uh, there are links to both the paid and free versions in the description down below. All right, so with that out of the way, let's talk about what Nova UI brings to the table. It's a complete new framework, and so there are going to be some pros and there are going to be some cons with that system. The pros, I think it brings three big things to the table. The first one, it brings far better control of the layout of your UI elements. Whether that's the size or the position of them relative to children, relative to parents, it is so much easier to use than the UGUI system. If you spent any time working with horizontal layout groups or vertical layout groups or content size fitters and trying to figure out what all those knobs and dials and adjustments, uh, what they really do, and especially if you go uh, from like say 1080p up to 4K and you're trying to get it all to be responsive and work, you know the pain that I'm talking about. And 90%, 95% of that pain is gone with Nova UI. You want a button to be 10% the height of its parent? Piece of cake, couple button clicks. You want a window to be 10% of the height of the screen away from the top of the screen? Again, piece of cake, easy to do. No more dealing with anchors and all kinds of just hard to deal with bits and pieces that are in the GUI system. At the end of the day, Nova UI in terms of layout, it just works and I love it. The second big thing that I think Nova brings to the table is UI generation or UI creation. So if you're creating a fairly modern or flat UI, so you're adding drop shadows or outlines or inside shadows or gradients, that is so easy to do with Nova. No more bouncing back and forth between Unity and Photoshop or Unity and Affinity Designer or some other uh, photo editing tool. You can do that all within Unity, see it immediately, it's really easy to do. I have loved that aspect of it as well. The third big thing that Nova brings to the table is their data binding system. And admittedly, this is the piece that I am still getting to know and still getting to see the nuances and the value of it. But essentially the data binding is the connection between the data that you have somewhere in your game and the visuals that your player is going to see in the UI. It also has gestures defined per visual. So if you have visuals defined for this button or visuals defined for this, this image, you can detect hovering on this image and clicking on this button. It's really easy to do, works great. But if I'm honest, if I'm working with a single object, just a single button or a single image, it doesn't really feel that different to me than what UGUI may offer. But for lists, this becomes a whole lot more powerful. If you have a scrollable list, it automatically is going to pull those objects for you. It's also going to only map the data to the visible objects which I can tell you from my personal experience, I ran into this a couple days ago with my day job, where we had a list that needed, that had 16 or 1700 elements in it. And it could potentially have many more than that. And Unity could handle that, but it just was chugging. We could barely get the get it to work. And of course we found a workaround for it, but Nova's gonna deal with that automatically by only mapping the data to the UI elements that are visible and it's going to be pooling those objects. So if you're scrolling through a table and those objects are no longer visible, it's going to recycle them and use them again at the bottom of the table or vice versa. When Nova first shipped, it didn't come with primitive UI components like buttons and sliders and toggles. The idea was you had to create those on your own because you wanted to create them exactly how you wanted to create them. Well, as of recording this and as of version, I think 1.0.3, Nova is now shipping with primitive UI components. It's got a button, it's got a toggle, it's got a slider, a dropdown, and I think I'm missing one. There might be one other one there. It's also now shipping with an input handler. Originally, you had to create your own input handler. How are you gonna handle your uh, left clicks, your right clicks, um, all that kind of stuff. It's now shipping with a basic PC input handler. If you're using the new input system, the old input system, easy to get in there and adjust and make it work for either system that you want. Personally, in my project, I'm using the new input system with no snags. Can't be happier with that. So that's some of the pros, right? We've got better control of our layout, whether that's size and position. It's easy to generate new, uh, good looking UI components. Uh, and we've also got the data binding system. But let's talk about the cons, or I think maybe better labeled some of the challenges you might face if you choose to bring Nova UI into your project. Well, and I, and I think the biggest one is that it's a new framework which means you, yeah, you get new abilities, those are the pros, 
but you also have new terms and new techniques. So things are being done slightly differently. But the Nova guys have put together a fantastic, frankly, beautiful website showing exactly how to do this. They put together some good videos, again, getting you up to speed quickly and easily. And their GitHub page, they made it super easy to post questions and issues, and they have been super responsive. So yes, it is a con that you have to learn this new framework. It's going to take some time. Uh, it's definitely taken me some time, and I'm sure I'm not doing it always the best way, and I'm making mistakes. But the time that I've saved in just the couple weeks that I've been using Nova part-time far, far outweighs the time that I've spent reading the documentation or trying to figure out how to do something. Now, I do want to emphasize that there is a free version of Nova UI up on the Asset Store. It's fully featured within the Unity engine. Everything that I've talked about, everything that you've seen here on the screen, you can do, play around with, and help you decide if Nova is the direction you want to go for your project. But that free version comes with two constraints or two restrictions. The first is it doesn't use the Burst compiler, which I've been assured if you have a quote unquote normal amount of UI, you shouldn't see any performance issues at all. The second one is you can't uh, export Nova to a standalone build. So you can't put it up on Steam or Itch or even just share it with your friends. You're going to need the paid version to export the Nova UI in a standalone build. At the time of recording, the Nova UI is 129 US dollars, which is definitely not on the cheap side for assets. You can find assets far cheaper than that that offer great value. But I'm also going to argue that it's not that expensive from a particular perspective. If you're a developer spending an hour struggling with the UGUI system, that's an hour that you're not adding content to your game, that you're not adding polish, that you're not responding to players' feedback, that you're not making some other part of your game better. And that cost starts to add up. If you're a hobby developer, kind of like myself, and you've got half an hour, an hour each night to work on your game, that time struggling with a vertical layout group is time that I'm not making progress somewhere else. And so that cost uh, equation, how expensive Nova is, starts to look better and better when you think about it or when I think about it in those terms. Which brings me to my experience so far using Nova UI. And I am using this in my own personal projects. But before I did that, and I would recommend that you go in a similar route, go grab that free version, open up a new project, dump that free version in there and start to play around. Look at what can you do with Nova that you couldn't do with the other systems. Um, what do you want or need to do in your project UI wise? And how do you do that with Nova? Figure out, is it going to fit into your project? That's what I did. I built a really ugly project with some basic functionality. And, and once I was uh, comfortable with the fact that Nova could do that and frankly do it much easier, I brought it into my own personal project. And if you've watched any of my recent streams um, over the last couple of weeks, I've been replacing UGUI uh, elements of my game with Nova and building brand new uh, components, including a mini map and a tech tree and working on a building menu. And I'm going to gut all the UGUI out of my personal project and replace it with Nova UI. If you've made it this far, think about giving the video a like or maybe leave a comment. It really does help uh, spread the word about the channel, the video and Nova UI. So in my mind, there's two questions left about Nova UI. Who is it for and maybe who is it not for? Well, first off, I think it's for anybody who's serious about finishing a game. So if you're working around with just a project, a kind of a prototype, you're just learning Unity, Nova UI may not be for you. But if you're planning on taking your game and shipping it to the to some store, to whether that's Steam or Itch, the Apple Store or Google Play or whatever, if you're serious about that and you know how to do that, I very much think Nova UI is for you. I also think it's 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 for people who are tired of messing around with the UGUI system. If you are tired of changing resolutions and your whole UI breaks and you don't know what buttons to click in this, Nova UI might just be for you. And lastly, I think Nova UI is for anybody who wants to build their UI faster and easier than they can with UGUI. If you're frustrated with it, give it a try. There's a free version, highly recommend it. So there you go, Nova UI. It is a brand new framework, fully replacing the UGUI uh, UI framework that ships with the Unity engine. I think it's got way more pros than cons. I think it will greatly, significantly ease and speed up uh, the development of your UI in your game. I love it. I'm so glad that I have it. Um, if no other reason, I wanna support the developers so they continue to uh, develop this tool and I get to continue using it. So. 
Again, at the end of the day, hope that was interesting and better yet useful for you and your project.